Well, well, well. Let's talk about Buddhism and Theosophy working for Freemasonry. Shall we? I told you I'm going to come back with it. Because, see, it has been a lot of lies against the Lord Jesus Christ lately. They have no remorse in going against his holy name. But they don't want you to discuss their religion, though. But I'm going to discuss way down the line how everything's connected to satanic occult that's why you should only worship jesus christ so here we go let's do this huh buddhism and theosophy let's talk about helena patravana Belisky was a russian occultist hmm. philosopher and author who co-founded the theosophist physical society in 1875 she gained an international following the leader of theotician of theosophy Theoretician of Theosophy, the esoteric religion that the society promoted. Hmm. She went to Tibet. Within, with, uh, she went to Tibet to encounter a group of spiritual adepts who were actually devils, by the way, where they were trained to develop philosophy, science, synthesis of religion. I think she called them the masters of something, but I'm gonna post it down below so y'all can see that stupidness. And um. She was part of the spiritualist movement. And they was, the idea was that the entities contacted were the spirits of the dead. Oh, wow. She was a big time occultist. She also befriended the occult, um, Henry Steele occult, who was also into that stupidness, Buddhism. Okay. Then at age 17, she agreed to marry Nico for Frodermick Levisky, a man in his 40s who worked as a vice governor of Ivan Province. Her reasons, she was attracted in his belief in magic. She also uh, was involved with Camelix, her and her mother, and her friend, uh, her husband, I guess. Not really husband, but you know. Camelix were practitioners of Tibetan Buddhism. She gained her first experience from them. She corrupted the influence of Christian missionaries. Ain't that something? Her writings garnered the materials of Neopolitism, Renaissance, magic, Kambala, and Freemasonry. Together with ancient Egyptian and Greco-Roman mythology religion, drawn by Eastern doctrines taken from Buddhism. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, we getting into it, huh? Oh, here we go. Blisky's secret doctrine laid the occult foundation for the Nazi racism, in which she trained, in which they are trained to deceive people. She was the miss of the Christian idea of God, which they all are. In the Western world, describe it as a bundle of contradictions and uh, the uh, logical impossibility, whatever she said right there. But I'm going to uh, post that down below. But she's she dumb enough to say it's contradicting when she the one is a witch. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, she, be, she befriended the Henry Occult, Occult man who was a spirit medium. Same thing like her. They both went to India. The society they were involved with was called the Arya Samaja, a Hindu reform movement. They became the first people in the U.S. along with the Gillen, no, Selen, Selen, to formally convert to Buddhism. She was accused of producing fraudulent paranormal phenomenon. She also published a secret doctrine. Her father was also part of the um, family of the Russian, German, royal, French elite. She um, grew up in an orthodox church. She also said Satan is our only God. She was a 32nd degree Mason, Madam named uh, Madam Belisky. And she also trained the Nazi people where they teach her ideology. I think she trained Adolf Hitler, who was also a watch child, by the way. Um, I'm going to show you down in the description box below what she was involved with. Plus, I'm going to show you her Masonic diploma, her being at the second, 32 second degree Freemason. Okay? Now, you'll see the, uh, the the symbolism of the Buddhism of the occult of being in the Freemasonry as well. Okay? Now, you'll have these doggone cultists will tell you Jesus Christ ain't God. But like I told you before, they want you to worship their God, which is Satan. So they're going to constantly tell you to deny Jesus Christ so you can get deceived, so you can go ahead and worship Satan. Do you understand? 
They all link to Freemasonry. This is why you got different religions out here, babies. Because everybody that is against God has created their own religion of occultism by heeding to Satan. Okay? So they are definitely going out here not trying to get you to deny this word here, which they all do, by the way. Notice there's a link towards denying Jesus Christ. Every last one do it. Every last one. Okay? Whether they Buddhism, whether they um, for Jehovah Witness, whether they for uh, weakened religion, whether for they for uh, what's the other one I had? Uh, oh, Torah books, Muslim, all that. They all go against the Lord Jesus Christ. Catholic Church, they all go against them because they're all Freemasons in there. They all have an agenda to uphold to get you to deny Jesus Christ. Okay? To worship their God, Satan. Okay? So, I'm on 1 Timothy chapter 4. This is, this is going to show you what's happening out here. Okay? It says... Now the Spirit speaking expressively, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidden to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every good creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused it, if it be received with thanksgiving, but it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. If thou put the brother in remembrance of these things, Jah, these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourish up in the words of faith and a good doctrine, whereunto thou hast strength attained. Okay? And it says, But refuse profane and old wives' fables. Exercise thyself rather unto, unto godliness. For by the exercise profit it little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. Okay? And it says, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. Acceptation, worthy of all acceptation. For therefore, we both labor or suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. Let no man despise the youth, thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and purity. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. And elect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by the prophecy, with the land on the hands of the presbytery. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, thy that thy profit may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue them for doing, and thou shalt both save thyself, them that hear thee. See? Right here. Now the Spirit expresses, Spirit ex speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, from this, from this here. Okay? Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. That would be like Helen Belisky. She created a secret doctrine, which Freemasons do do, uh, create doctrines of their occultism, which are doctrines of devils. Okay? So, it's the words, this is why they deny so much. Because the word expressed and ex it tells everything what they was going to do, how they were going to do it, and exactly what they are doing. Okay, they have departed from the Lord Jesus Christ's faith, telling you to deny this, okay, to get you to heed to Satan, okay? That is what they want you to do. They want you to deny Jesus Christ so you can heed to their God, Satan, so you can go to hell with them. Like I said, they want to go, let you go to hell with them so badly. They all into magic occultism type crap, heed to Satan and them demons. And what they said about the Roman Greco, they talking about them, uh, them transformer demons that's in the family elite that God say do not heed to. Okay, so I'm gonna post those down below so you can see all this is linked to Freemasonry. People like people be telling me when they used to tell me, oh, we got all these different cult, uh, different religions out here. We could just serve anyone. Really, but when you mention Jesus Christ to them. They tell you don't judge them. They tell you uh, we don't want to hear your God. Uh, they tell you, oh, we don't want to listen to your God. Oh, baby, don't be saying his name. We don't want to hear his name. Oh, but you can you can hear every other religion, though. That's because they're all against him. Do y'all not see that? 
they're all against him. And God said they were going to do that in this chapter here. Okay. They, he said they were going to have itchy ears towards the truth to heed to their own fables and lies. And they want to depart from the fate to give and heed to seducing doctrines of devils, which they are doing. This woman was a third, 32, 32 second Freemason devil. She was a cultist. She was a witch. She went all the way to Tibet, got involved with some devils. I think she spoke with some monks too. But got involved with some devils, spread the stupidness all over the world. Okay, went to New Orleans and everywhere else. And, and, and preached that stupidness. Okay, preached that stupidness. So it's her, Alistair Crowley, all of them. All of them Santana cultists, Freemason type stuff. And they're getting people to deny Jesus Christ as we speak. That's why you have a lot of these Muslims and a lot of these Buddhism and a lot of these different religions serving other demonic gods instead of Jesus Christ. They refuse to serve Jesus Christ. They refuse. Okay? Because they want to be wicked. Mostly ungodly people are wicked that don't want to serve his name, his holy name. Okay? So I'm breaking it down for y'all. See, they're not going to do this. Okay? I'm letting y'all see. They're not going to do this on the net. I, I I have yet to see people break that down. Let's break it down. Okay? Let's break it how all these religions are against Jesus Christ. Let's break that mess down. Okay? And I'm going to tell y'all I'm breaking it down so y'all can see for yourself. They are trying to get you to deny Jesus Christ as bad as possible. See how they say she was all against the Christian ideas? See how um, Charles Hans Russell is all against the Christian ideas? See how they all against Jesus Christ, denying his name? See how they all the same? It's, re it's repetitive and redundant. Don't you see a pattern? Don't you see it, y'all? Look at each religion. And look at who's running it. Okay? And look behind the crap. And look it up. And see who are they with. Because I'm going to tell you baby. These people are satanic occultists. They refuse to get right with Jesus Christ. Okay? Jesus Christ tell you not to sin. They tell you it's a contradiction. How's a contradiction when it told you not to sin and it's speaking strictly about you? How's a contradiction? It is definitely talking about you. That y'all don't want to hear. Okay? Okay. This is why they don't like the Bible. Because it tells everything what they are doing. So if they can get you to deny this, they can get you to heed to them so you can be unsaved so you can go to hell with them. See, they want, to, they want you to die. They want you to, they want you to die with them. You understand? Why do you think they're all about depopulation and all that crap? They're all about wanting you to go to hell with them. This is what they do. Okay? They don't like nobody seeking their salvation going to heaven because they can't go to heaven no more. So what they do? They want you to go to hell with them. So they're going to try to deceive as many as possible to get you to go to hell with them. But I, I <laughs> like I said, I'm going to tell the truth for them. I'm breaking every religion down the line to show that every last one goes against Jesus Christ. And it's all part of the Freemasonry Santanic occult. Okay, of course, they'll come to my page and say, you manipulate my mind. But, oh, cuss me out, Satanists. Go ahead. Because, see, y'all the ones want people to worship your God. And guess what? It's not going to happen with me. I'm going to preach everything about y'all to the T to let y'all know y'all going against the Lord Jesus Christ deliberately deliberately so you can search that Santana God that's killing people out here because they want to go to hell they're going to hell and they want people to go to hell with them okay I'm breaking it down so no they're not going to break this down like that okay a lot of them Freemasons ain't going to do that they'll say oh I've, I've, I've read this book and it's so good and they're going to try to brag about things they know they're not part of <laughs> Okay, they already denied Jesus Christ. So, you know, they're going to brag about the things they know they're not part of. They're all part of the Santana cult. They ain't going to brag about that because they know it's wicked. They literally know it's wicked. That's how ashamed they are. Okay, if you're not ashamed about your Santanic mess, why why do it? Hmm? Why, are you so, why are you doing things in secret? Hidden, huh? Like God can't reveal things to his chosen people to see what y'all doing. Kind of crazy mess y'all doing. Huh? 
I've been seeing vision for it before I even known about the Freemasonry. I already knew y'all doing that stupidness. I already knew. But see, that's the problem with these people. They don't think, <laughs> they forget God is almighty powerful, that he has chosen people on this earth, his remnant, to reveal things that these people are doing in the dark. And of course, they tell on themselves too. If you see it on the net, they tell it on themselves predominantly well. <laughs> but they get online trying to deny Jesus Christ, saying he's not a God almighty, but they a bunch of lying devil selves. Bunch of lying devil selves. All Santana cult leaders, Santana cult Freemason people, and want to deny this. But they Santanic selves. How wicked. You get what I'm saying? How wicked. They all have a little common pattern. Oh, let's all deny Jesus Christ. Let's get people to deny him too. Him too. They all have a common pattern to deceive people to get y'all to deny him. Please don't do it, y'all. Don't listen to them fools. Don't listen to them. <laughs> don't y'all listen to them ignorant fools because they don't want you to serve if they serve their satanic God. Don't listen to them fools, baby. They don't want you to go to heaven. Now, I'm telling you, heaven is a beautiful paradise uh, of Jesus Christ's throne. Sitting, he's sitting at the throne, and it's beautiful. It's a paradise out this world, baby. Okay? You don't want to go to hell. You don't want to do what they doing, baby. Okay? But they trying to get y'all there. They literally are trying. And they got many as we speak right now. Many of them. Okay? They, they done poop man and woman to sell themselves for the money and rich fame and glory to get them to idolize and worship Satan so their soul can go to hell. Their soul is already taken once they deny Jesus Christ. Now they're in torment. You understand? That's why these people have these anxiety attacks or depression mode and all that craziness because they're not fully rested. They are being tormented every day and every night by these things, by these devils. Okay? So they can get you to deny Jesus Christ and don't seek to have salvation. And don't seek the Holy Ghost Spirit that can protect you and guide you and comfort you. They can get you real well. Okay? If you don't have that. That is why I express to y'all enough. To, let's get righteous. You want to battle this enemy very, very well. You want to battle them. Okay? You don't want to just hand your soul over like some big dummies. Just so you can die along with them. Because that's what they want you to do. They want you to die along with them. So therefore, they're going to try to get you to deny this word. And they all got that same pattern. Down to nine, each religion has the same pattern to deny Jesus Christ. Each of them. Okay? Now they had a Santana priest. He, he even told on himself. So yeah, I had to deny. He was on the radio saying they had, how he had to deny Jesus Christ. And how he had to re write his name on something. So that he will be blotted out of the land book of life. Of course. Of course. You don't have to tell no... Don't have to tell me that because the word already written that's going to happen. Okay. You will be blotted out of the Lamb Book of Life selling your soul to Satan. Giving honor to it and praising it and worshiping it. So this is why you shouldn't worship no idol or no other thing but Jesus Christ. But I just want to read that to y'all. I'm going to show y'all the links below of her satanic diploma of the Freemasonry. I'm going to show y'all how this woman was evil. Occultists, just like Alistair Crowley. You get what I'm saying? They all part of that craziness. Helen and his name is uh, Henry Occult was also a, a spirit medium. A lot of mediums, you see spirit mediums like uh, Ella Bont, Ella, Ella, Elena, Elena Bont, um, on that, that show that comes on, talking about she's trying to solve problems. These are witches, okay? These mediums are definitely witches. They, not, they can't solve no problem. They just make matters worse. So people are like, oh, this is sad. This show, she's trying to help. No, she's not. She's messing with MK Ultra people, okay? And she's pandering. When I'm talking about pandering to the to the show, she's she's um she's instigating more more agony, okay? She's a, she's a witch. She's instigating more of the demonic spirits within them because she's a witch, okay? This is what spirit spirit mediums do. They, they all about demons. They all about seeking these demons. And they seek them within the people too. Okay. They not only call upon them. But they seek them in them to, act, to 
instigate them to get more wicked. Okay, so M MK Ultra is all about that. Santana cultism all about that. Calling, doing the vampires and all that. They all about getting somebody more vexed with devils to be more wicked. Okay, so this is why we must become righteous indeed to fight these people. You cannot fight evil with evil. You must be eternally righteous in the Lord Jesus Christ to fight them. You got to fight cleanness. You got to have cleanness. I mean, my bad. You have to have clean. You got to be totally cleanness. Cleanness to fight against uncleanness. Okay? You got to be totally clean to fight the unclean. You understand? You cannot fight unclean with unclean. It just makes it even more unclean. You understand what I'm saying? You got to fight clean. I mean, fight clean. Fight unclean with clean. Okay? Make sure y'all know that. You got to fight unclean with clean. I mean, got to fight clean with unclean. Y'all messing up here, but you know what I mean. You got to fight the unclean with clean. Okay? If they unclean, you got to be cleansed. That's what I'm saying. Okay? You cannot fight these unclean spirits being unclean yourself. Because it's not going to work. You got to be righteous and totally born again in the spirit of God to be cleansed, to fight something like that. Okay. Devils know that you're unclean. If you living sinful and you're not doing the way, walking the way God said walk, they can just jump in your body. They can do that. But if you live in the way God said to live and you walk in it, okay, then that's going to be a challenge for a devil to even enter in. Okay. They might come around, but us people of God have the Holy Ghost Spirit to rebuke something like that. Okay, we can rebuke it. We can command it to come out too. That's what we do. Okay, so when uh, you see these people, these are different religions, know that they're all against Jesus Christ. Look what's behind it. Don't just, don't just worship these things so stupidly, okay, because they tell you to do it. Oh, they all tell you to deny Jesus Christ. So you could go ahead and worship other things. Don't do not do that. Okay? Because they tell you to do it. You got to look up what's behind the crap. See what they involve with. See who these people hang with. See what they do. Okay? Because what they do is all against Jesus Christ. Okay? They all against this word here. Ain't that something? They got something in common. And there's a reason. Like I said, they cannot fight against the Holy Ghost Spirit. So they try to get you to deny it so they can go against you and get you more vexed. So if you don't have the Holy Ghost Spirit, what do they do? Jump in you. So people, do not give in to these different religions out here. Only serve the Lord Jesus Christ only. Because that's the only way you'll be able to be saved and get into the kingdom of heaven. You cannot get into the kingdom of heaven. Worship these other idols that these Satanists and cultists tell you to worship. Okay, of course, you're gonna. I'm gonna have some that gonna practically deny this even more so, even though I've got the stuff in the description box below showing the mess. Okay, they're gonna deny even that and that because they're stupid enough to deny it. they stupid. Okay, you don't want to worship these dumb, ignorant devils, they're ignorant to go against the Almighty God who created them. Okay, people, I always believe in Jesus Christ. Try to be cleansed. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ to cleanse you out in the Holy Ghost Spirit. And be baptized and given the Holy Ghost Spirit of fire to defeat the enemy. And you will defeat them. Okay? Jesus Christ is God.